to step out of the city walls to the place of the crucifixion and the burial site. And people for centuries were pointing to a place saying this is the site where he walked over the city gate. But some hundred years ago, by the way, this is a Lutheran church. This is here a Russian Orthodox church that was built some hundred years ago. And when they dig for the foundation of the church, they reach the level of the second century. The Lutheran church. With, and they found a gate from Adrian's time. So this is second century Jerusalem. Then they kept on digging down and they hit the gate. Station number seven is where he steps out of the city walls. Okay, we talked about it when we were over there. They found the actual place 50 meters or so that way. Station seven. This is where the Franciscan monks who put the stations of the cross in the 13th century said it to be, uh, they had a pillar here that they thought was part of the gate. Apparently it was a pillar of the column. We're on the column right now. In the second century, this sort of made them make this mistake. This beautiful pillar that they thought was part of the gate. It's actually one of the pillars of the column. It was built some, uh, yeah, some years after So, station number eight. Don't to me, I write for you, I know what is to come. Yes. 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 There were tens of thousands of pilgrims coming over. People were minding their own business. People were shopping. People were cross. Over here, it ends left, drops the cross. <laughs> right next to it is section number four. This is where he would meet his mother along the way. Okay? So we'll head out of the city through here. But first, we're going to stop in this restaurant for lunch. Okay? They prepared us, you know, they, they, they reserved the spot for us. And we're doing over there. Station number two. So on Friday morning, he's being brought station here. One. In station number two, there are two chapels. One is for where he was beaten and then where the trial took place in front of Pontius uh, Pilate. And the, the trial took place in there, and yielding to the pressure of the Jews, he's uh, ending him with the cross and he's starting his uh, journey down the uh, Via de Rosa, what we just did. This arch over the street is where, according to the tradition, Pilate presents Jesus to the crowd and says, Echo Omo, this is the man you're after. And he washes his hands from this because this is nothing wrong with, with uh, Jesus. Again, he's yielding to the pressure of the Jews. And what happened here is, uh, is the Jews are telling him, Pilate, this is on us and on our children. And this is where they're taking responsibility for the crucifixion. So up till, right. So up till <laughs> 65, now this is important. Up till 65, what happened here was at the root of the Catholic dogma that pointed to the Jews as responsible for the crucifixion of Jesus, not just the Jews of Jesus' times, or not just few of the Jews of Jesus' times, but all the Jews of all the generations up to our generation. And this was at the root of much of the anti-Semitism that was applied against the Jews. In 64, well, between 62 and 65, there is a very dramatic re-examination process of this dogma by the Catholic Church. Yeah. And at the end of this process, they're changing this dogma, yeah. which is something that happened in our lifetime, most of us' yeah. lifetime, and it's a dramatic shift in the Catholic sort of fundamental 
concepts and, and it set the, the relationship between the Jewish people and the Catholic Church in a completely different foundation. You can't exaggerate with the importance of this change. And now the dogma is or the sort of the uh, um, idea is that some of the Jews, the way I understood it, it's drafted like a very legal uh, sort of, that some of the Jews of Jesus' times are to be held responsible, but not the Jews of the next generations. And this is a, a major, major drastic shift in the... Uh, so there are some disagreements today between the Catholic Church and the Jews. We're going to talk about those sometimes, and uh, you know, but it's all on a completely different level. It's all being discussed, and a very sort of, uh, you know, in most cases, understandings are being reached. It's a revolution, really. Uh, General Mamluk are the must is the Muslim Empire that kicked the Crusaders out of the country in the 13th century. And they controlled the country for some 250 years until they were defeated by the Ottomans. And the Ottomans, in 1516, kicked them out of here and controlled the country for 400 years, from 1516 to 1917. This is uh, of the soldiers that fought here in 67. I know what I thought, but it's not the contemporary Jewish history. Por favor, porque una foto para la estrella pueden comprar un postal por un dólar. Por favor, seremos conscientes. Por favor. Así que solo mirar y parar. Chilean miners? Chilean miners? Chilean miners? Chilean miners? 
And the Judean desert is the end. Behind you, you can see the minaret and the star of Bethlehem, the Christmas star. Can you see it over there behind you? Can you see it? Yes. Okay. So I'll give chance for some ladies or gentlemen. They have the camera. They'll pick some pictures and you come back. Okay.